Okay, we're back. Um, as you can see on the rotor assembly and the test jig, I've reduced the number of magnets to four. Again, we have alternating poles, north, south, north, south, or maybe vice versa. It's really arbitrary. It doesn't quite matter. And we're back to using the horseshoe-shaped magnet from the hard drive. Give you an idea of the angle of attack that I've created with the lever assembly that moves the stator magnet up and down. And with just four magnets, it makes it a little bit easier to control by hand. Right here, I've got a standard ball bearing on a screw, which I will be mounting in some fashion underneath here to ride up and down on a cam that I can hopefully adjust rotationally around the base of the rotor assembly which will give me a, the ability to adjust the timing in relation to the spatter magnet and the rotor. One of the biggest problems that I've had in creating a working demo unit that is capable of demonstrating the properties that I wanted to demonstrate is to find a way to balance enough weight on the, on the rotor. And what I've got here, just to elevate it away from the top, it is a two inch wide roll of tape and a sealed lead acid battery from a, uh, I forget how many watt UPS power supply it was harvested from. I'm just going to set this in place, and one of the biggest tricks is just getting this centered so that it doesn't fly off and damage other things on my bench. This is at least twice, maybe three times the inertial load of the can of flooring tile that I was using as a, as a flywheel. But I just want you to get some idea of how quickly I can accelerate this mass. All right, here we go. Try again. Very little effort there. Very little motion on the stator. It should be a fairly simple matter. Let's see if I can stop this thing. There we go. Should be a fairly simple matter of creating a cam assembly up underneath that will allow this to ride up and down on it. Probably closer to the center of rotation where I'll have a uh, mechanical advantage. You'll have to forgive me, I'm just fascinated with this toy. Stay tuned. Next video's got a cam on it. We'll see if it works.